Fisher, and I'm excited about this painting. It's an oil painting um, of a winter scene, and I, I hope that you'll like it. Um, it will be painted on um, a 12 by 16 panel that um, I made myself. Um, it's a mixture of gesso, um, a little bit of um, acrylic black in it. This is a uh, acrylic gesso I'm talking about. And uh, I put some marble dust in it and um, did a couple um, <clears throat> a couple layers of that uh, probably of a value around five gray um, gesso on the panel and then it's prepared um, I penciled in a, the sketch of the painting that you're about to see here that um, I've got this paint holder that I normally use. This is my own creation. You can order it through TomFisherArt.com. Just look in the comments. Okay, now what we have here is titanium white, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue. I have sap green here today, um, primary yellow, or cadmium light, yellow light. This is yellow ochre today we're using. Um, right here is um, burnt umber, then we had cad red light, alizarian crimson, followed by, I have dioxazine uh, purple here, I, uh, rather than black. Sometimes I'll switch those over. Sometimes I'll switch the yellow ochre over towards a cadmium red, a cadmium orange, excuse me. And sometimes I'll, I'll change the sap green to a um, um, a light light green, but otherwise, typically I always tend to have ten colors. Any more is kind of silly to work with. Um, <laughs> this is more than enough colors to to create this painting. So let's proceed. What we'll do is uh, mix up some colors here. Um, follow this mixture. Let's see. Um, let me let me uh, clue in here a little bit better. Okay, what we want to do is, uh, what we have here is, excuse me, I don't know if you can see this, I hope so. Um, let me see if you can. I believe you can if I uh, keep it down there. Okay, what we have here, um, I'm using an analogous color wheel, you can get it by Hal Reed. I have nothing to do with this thing. Um, I just like it, so I use it. Um, so we're using this dominant hue. Red is the dominant hue of this. Um, it's, they're all uh, down, very subdued. Um, so it's desaturated reds, typically. We've got some desaturated greens in here. And um, there's some desaturated oranges, you could say, as well. Um, we have um, the Discord, the Discord color, which is um, a blue purple. Um, that's, um, you'll find that in the, um, in the area around the pine trees and so on to the left. And um, then a lot of there's some red purples in some of the um, the one pine tree on the right as well. So 
let's uh, mix some colors up. So let's start out with, uh, let's, since there's all that red as I have tell, told you, let's start out with red. Put pretty much down there. Um, it's desaturated, should be desaturated. So let's, um, let's include, uh, let's lower first of all the, we're going to lower the, um, value of this and that's with burnt burnt umber and so we're doing that now what we want to do first whenever you mix colors is to go for the right value first and um, this is actually fairly close to the value but it's certainly not the color so um, VHS as I call it value hue so the color is next and then the saturation. Okay, so we used, um, we want the color to be right. Well, the color certainly isn't right. I think we have to add some blue to it. And we're going to add some blue to it over here for the for the value. Excuse me. For the color that was that's ultramarine blue right and um it looks like color wise we have to go more towards uh, the yellows here a little bit so i'm including because um, i could put the primary yellow down first but that's higher in them um, in values so we don't want to really hurt that right now. Um, it's best to use the yellow ochre because it's already um, lower in value. So we want to. Okay, so what we've got here is something that uh, it's a, it's a, a red purple right now. And so I'm going to take some of that, make a couple Let's, um, a couple swatches of that. Let's add a little bit of, um, green to it. Do the whole thing, whole mixture. Okay, let's add a little bit of white to this, just, just to see what, so it's easier to see what we've got. And um, all right, what I want to do is add some yellow to this mixture right here. Let's let's add quite a bit. This is this is some of the, the this mixture is good for the bushes on the right, some on the top right as well, um, and I think that we're going to add a bunch of yellow ochre to this right over here. I'm. So it's a little bit warmer mixture, similar to what we will see up in the top, top right and bottom right, uh, or and middle as well. And um, I want to add a bunch of um, purple to this. Excuse me, ultramarine blue to this. This is kind of a. 
I wanted to get kind of a mixture for the, um, this is pretty dark, as you can see, um, for the mixture on the, the, for the purples and so on, on the left, I added some Yoxtein, um purple there. I'm going to bring it up a little bit in value so we can see what we got. It is a, probably the right mixture. Get um, I'm going to add some burnt umber to that. Because I still want that, I want it to be purple, but um, I'm pulling it down as far as um, the um, intensity. And um, that should be, yes, that's pretty, pretty good for the um, mixtures on, on the left middle and then top, um, top left as well. All right, now let's see what we've got for the blue. Let's get some mixtures on the blue here. I've got, these are, this is ultramarine blue. I'm adding some white to it. That will be probably pretty good for um, some of the sky mixture, as you can see. I like that. I'm going to add just a titch of um, of yellow ochre to this. I do not like to make a sky. <laughs> I like to do a sky unless it has some color in it. And so um, we're pulling together some of those mixtures. Maybe a little bit of this red has slipped in there. That's okay. Creates more of a harmony. Um, now we're going to the ultra green blue for the um, for the mixtures of the snow in the front. Ultramarine blue there, and um, I think it wouldn't hurt with a little bit of of yellow ochre in that as well. So now that we've um, got this mixed up, pretty much, what about the what about the three trees in the middle? I think we could take some of this purple that we made, add some ultramarine blue, a little bit of dioxane purple in there, and um, we're, we're going to use some sap green in there. It's a very rich, rich um, dark green.
So if you like it, subscribe, ring the bell, and um, come back again. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.